What's up everyone? So I am so excited to finally bring you guys my makeup collection. I have been trying to work on this for quite some time, getting everything organized. The lighting set, Matt's been helping me with filming it, and it's finally done. Hopefully it is good quality and you guys can see everything fairly well um, with all the angles and stuff. It's hard, <laughs> it's hard to film this video. Um, and this is very exciting for me to show you guys. I have a very large collection. I am hoping to very soon do like a massive declutter of all the products that I'm not using and I'm kind of neglecting right now and giving those to sanitizing them and giving them to like friends and family who will give them more loving than I could and just kind of scaling down on my shopping. If you haven't seen my project pan, um, I'll link it down below, but I am kind of doing a no buy six months freeze where I'm not buying any makeup for six months and so I'm hoping to kind of slowly start using all of my makeup because although I use it very often like I'm always using different products every day I like to give love to all of my products I have a lot and so I have enough makeup to last me many many lifetimes for probably many people so I'm trying to kind of be a little bit better. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. It might be a little bit long, uh, so just kind of get a snack and get ready to see a lot of cosmetics. So I'll see you in the tour of my makeup. Okay, so this is the makeup area. And then over here are my towers can see and I have the lights on right now so I'll go ahead and turn those off so that you can see it better. I got those lights at Ikea and my dad um, installed them and then this vanity is from Amazon. So I'm going to start with what's on top of my vanity first on the left hand side. So I have a lot of my eyeliner brushes and some kabukis on this side that I use every day. I've got both of my beauty blenders over here as well as my Real Techniques beauty blender. And then I have all of my kabukis all behind here because I'm always grabbing these to blend out any of my uh, blush or bronzer. Got some of my eyebrows stuff and then I have all of my Sigma brushes over here because I like to grab those the most and then I've got my MAC Fix Plus as well as my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray which I use every day I'm obsessed with this and then I have some of more of my high end eyeliners so here I have all of the eye brushes that I use every day on this side I have all of the brushes that I use to blend out um, I have all different brands I've got e.l.f. I've got BH Cosmetics I've got Coastal Scents um, love these and then I just have a Bath and Body candle holder that's in there that I depotted. And then on this side, I have all of the shadow brushes that I use to kind of pack on the color. I've got Toki Doki, Real Techniques, again, BH, all of those. And I have just little beads in there that I got from Michaels to hold all of them. I have a chapstick here that I try to get to every time before I put on any products. I've got a hand sanitizer. I've got a little sharpener as well as my tweezers. I got these little holders from Hot Look and I have a bunch of the lip glosses and some lip butters that I love grabbing every day. So I have up here I had mostly all my Revlon lip glosses as well as a few of my NYX ones and then this one which is a cream puff that I got in a swap. It's a European brand. And then I have a NYX matte, a soft matte and a lip butter in the first drawer. And then the second drawer I have all of my Milani lipsticks as well as the Physicians Formula one. This one is great. And then one of the new Almay lip glosses, a Rimmel one as well as this one which is that like stain and then I've got these three lip glosses that are from Sweet Pea and Fay and they're kind of like lip tars. They're very very pigmented and you only need a tiny amount. Then the next one I have all of my Revlon lip butters as well as a few kind of randoms. I have another Revlon that wouldn't fit up here. A Starlux lip gloss and a Bare Minerals. 
then I have all of my Wet n Wild Fergie lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. They were so amazing and I have the color so I can kind of see. And then I've got another Wet n Wild, a NYX, a Wet n Wild lip gloss, a lip light, and a NYX lip gloss. And then in this drawer, it's so pretty and pastel, I love this one. I have a couple of the Color Whispers, a few of the L'Oreal, some of these L'Oreal like I don't even know what they were called. The name's not on there. I don't know if I really love those ones. And then I had to get this beautiful uh, lavender and this gorgeous mint lip gloss because it reminded me of my wedding colors as well as why I got this one. And they're all basically sheer, but these are some of the um, Color Riche balms. And then the last drawer is my Tarte Lip Surgeon's drawer. I have a bunch of these. I absolutely adore these products. So these are kind of like all my chubby sticks that I grab on a more frequent basis. Then I've got a CoverGirl one. I have a baby lips and a couple just little baby sample lip glosses. I have four palettes that I keep here on my vanity. I have all three of my naked palettes. Um, which I know all of you have seen already and then I have my MAC palette that I have not filled up yet but I really have been drawn to these shadows a lot so I have it here on my vanity to grab too especially a lot of these neutrals I wear almost every day and then I have my face brushes that are over here on the side in this drawer I have a bunch of pigments and glitters from this indie brand called Geek Chick Cosmetics and they had a really cute Harry Potter collection that they came out with. They have a lot of really beautiful glitters and they have cute little themes with each of their products. And then I just have a random Benefit lip gloss that I need to open and try out. This drawer just has eyelashes and then it has a random air spun that I need to use up. This drawer is kind of a little bit of a miscellaneous. I try to keep products in here that I use all the time, just like my Great Lash that I use to kind of set my eyebrows, um, this concealer by CoverGirl and Olay, my gel liner, or some products that I'm just kind of using and reviewing. So I've got some CoverGirl products over here. Top drawer of my first dresser um, is all of my foundations, concealers, powders, and eyebrow products. So I've got a bunch of different foundations. I've got like my drugstore, I've got some Revlon Nearly Naked, I love that stuff. Um, my Rimmel BB Cream, some L'Oreal, and then I've got like some MAC powder. This stuff is awesome. I think it's discontinued though. It's like a Truth and Light, it's like a cooling powder. I've got some primers, I've got some Laura Geller Stay Matte. MAC, I've got some primers in here, um, and then I've got a bunch of concealers from a bunch of different brands. I've got Hard Candy, uh, Sonia Kesha, Dalton, this is an amazing concealer, um, some Bare Minerals, and then eyebrow stuff. I've got like the, uh, the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, which is really good. I really like that. The Star Looks one, which is amazing. Well, the second drawer is one of my favorite drawers. This is all of my MAC products, all of my blushes, MSFs, all of my Tarte blushes, and some high-end stuff. So, like, I've just got a ton. I've got some different collections from, like, the Betty and Veronica collection. Um, I've got this one. I can't remember which collection that was from. I've got some of the mineralized skin finishes, which they are my favorite. Got a bunch of those. Um, and then I've got more kind of MSFs on this side. Over here, this is my all-time favorite blush ever from MAC. This one is so beautiful. Um, it is the Azalea Blossom. Love this one. I've got a bunch of the mini little Tarte blushes. These are beautiful. And then some of the bigger versions. The Rocketeer blush from Benefit is life-changing. Totally have to have that one. In this drawer, I have a continuation of some high-end products, and then I'm kind of going into some drugstore. So it's high-end drugstore on this side. So I've got all of my balm products in here. This is the Bahama Mama. My Sigma blushes from the Cream de Couture. I love these blushes. They're so pretty. Um, this one is also one of my favorites from the Sephora Pantone collection. NYX, and then these are a bunch of the MAC uh, cream 
these were like a you can use it as a lip gloss or a cheek product and I normally use them as cheek products so I have several of those then on this side I've got um, this uh, I love these cream blushes from elf but the packaging is huge so I've got that and I've got a bunch of my Milani blushes these are fantastic then a hard candy one a couple of the NYX ones this is a really good one it's really nice and neutral it's uh, Dusty Rose. Next drawer is my highlighters and my bronzers as well as some cream blushes. Continuing on with the blushes, I have so many. Um, and then just to let you know, these little organizers I also got at Ikea just for a few bucks each and they have come really in handy. So I have bronzers over here. So I've got a few. This one's from the Napoline. I've got this one from Pixie, which is amazing. This is really great for anyone who has really fair complexion. Um, and then I've got some highlighters. I love this MAC um, Beauty Powder that came in the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is an amazing highlighter. Love this one. This is from Wet n Wild. This is Reserve Your Cabana. This and um, the Marilyn one are kind of similar, kind of give a similar look to it. And then I have the Naked Illuminator. This is beautiful from Urban Decay. Then a few more Fergie Wet n Wild products. This Too Faced Bronzer and this a Victoria's Secret one, which is beautiful. And then I said a few more cream. These are the e.l.f. ones. Um, this is Star Looks and these little NYX blush sticks. So the next drawer I have a bunch of eyeshadows and these are mostly cream shadows but I have drugstore and high end. So as you can see here I have layers of the Maybelline color tattoos. I've got the whole permanent collection except the white one and then I've got the limited edition ones as well that have come out for like spring and fall. Love these. They're so good. And and then on this side I have a couple of the flower cream shadows. These are amazing. If you haven't tried them, you totally need to get them. And then I've got a NYX uh, shimmer, roll on shimmer. And then these by Bare Minerals. These are so good. I absolutely love these shadows. They go on so creamy, last a really long time. They have a beautiful like metallic glow. I've got a bunch of the L'Oreal um, infallible eyeshadows and I've got those kind of layered. These are also super beautiful, one of the best um, eyeshadows that you can find, I think, at the drugstore, so I have a bunch of layers of those. Next drawer, I have a bunch of my high-end shadows, so I have a lot of the MAC pigments that come out during the holidays. These are by far like the best pigments ever. They're so good. So I have them all right there. And then on this side, I have a bunch of the Toki Doki like uh, single shadows. And these I don't think sell anymore. I don't know if you can find them anywhere else, but I loved these shadows. They're so pigmented and creamy. As well as I have the Lorac, um, the 3D lusters. These are so good. I have the permanent ones and then the ones that were holiday edition. I have a bunch of little baby samples of the MAC pigments and I had this website. I'll have to try to find it and I'll link it down below if I can. And for a couple bucks you got like a little sample of it and pigments as you know last forever so I tried out a bunch of the pigments that way by just getting the little sizes of them. And then I've got some more MAC shadows. These are some of like the winter edition, extra dimension. The latest pigments and glitters from this year's MAC collection, uh, a Too Faced glitter, and a bunch of Makeup Geek products. These are the pigments and glitters, so good. As well as some of the Zodiac glitters from Lime Crime. This drawer is one of my favorite drawers, and this is a lot of my lip products. This is a lot of lip glosses as well as drugstore lipsticks and lip liners as you can see. It's so hard to get lip products organized. I always feel like every time I try to organize it, it still is a mess. So right now this is how it's going to be. Uh, I have a lot of my Buxom. Buxom is one of my favorite favorite brands for lip glosses and lip products. So a bunch of Buxom products in here. A bunch of Rimmel couple Avon lipsticks, this is a Tarte lipstick, Kat Von D lipstick, um, and then over here is a lot of Revlon, a bunch of Starlux lipsticks, uh, then a bunch of different lip liners, 
mostly NYX and Drugstore, a few MAC ones. I got a lot of my NYX round lipsticks, uh, some e.l.f. products like their lipsticks as well as their Hyper Shine lip glosses. Couple Wet n Wild. I love these from Milani. They're like the lip flashes. Those are so pretty. All of the Maybelline Vivids. I love these. These are so beautiful. Love these CoverGirl lipsticks. These are amazing. So long lasting. It is insane how long these will last on your lips. So must have is the CoverGirl lipsticks. Over here I've got some of my NYX uh, Mega Shine lip glosses. Again, some more of my Vivids. I've got all of my funky colors from Clean Color. Don't use them so much because I don't usually walk around with blue, but they're good to have just in case. Got some of my NYX Butter Glosses over here that I've gotten stocked up on. And I have a Z palette that I've depotted some Sephora, and then I have a couple of the Inglot shadows. And then I've got an Urban Decay Book of Shadows. I got a bunch of the BH and Coastal Scents palettes, the Sephora by Pantone palette. Uh, this is a Victoria's Secret one that I got. Another old school Urban Decay one. I love that. I got the Star Looks palette. This came in one of the subscriptions a couple years ago. Next we have a drawer of all of my drugstore eyeshadows which I hope to depot all of these. It is going to be quite a task but that is my goal. I got several different little cute palettes from eBay that are like the Z palette. So this line here, as you probably all recognize, are all Wet n Wild, fabulous trios. So I've got a ton from different limited edition collections as well as some of the old school ones. Got all of the 8 pan palettes over here, all of the limited edition ones as well as the ones that are permanent got the spring ones over here those are all there and then i've got more trios oh yay so depotting is going to be out of control but it needs to happen and then i've got my maybelline uh eye studio little palettes here these are super cute i really like how pigmented these are but not least are all the products that are on top of the dressers. Here are all of my MAC lipsticks. I have a whole video on my MAC lipstick collection so you can go check it out. As well as I have a few from IT Cosmetics over here, a Dior one, a NARS, a Tarte lipstick, and my Sarah Hap lip uh, slip. So beautiful. And then I've got a couple, what is this one? Pantone I think from Sephora. So these are all of those lipsticks, and then I've got in here just in a cute little uh, glass container that I found at my dad's house is the Revlon Lip Lacquer Balms. These are amazing, absolutely love it. Then I have my Tarte kit that I got from Christmas, and then in this little bowl I have all of the ones that I don't want to take out of the container. So I've got the Hello Sailor, my two beautiful YSL lipsticks, I've got the Lime Crime lipsticks and some of my lip tars. Here are all of my other palettes and so I have them by the princesses in the back over here. Then I've got all of my Sigma palettes back here. I've got a Tarte one. I've got the Balm. Whoops! Um, I've got another Sigma, the Lorac one. I've got Stila in the light. I've got this beautiful one by Saucebox. Another Sigma one. Some more Lorac. Some Sugar Pill. The Cinderella one from Sephora, the Meat Matte, a couple MAC ones. This is all like uh, Urban Decay palettes. Uh, this is Too Faced as well as some Hello Kitty ones and my Ma Naked Basics. I got this organizer from Costco. It's for like paper. And then I've got my Coastal, I mean my BH Cosmetics ones by Pretty Rebel. Uh, some more Lorac and some Bare minerals. So these are the conclusion items of all of my makeup products. 
So I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video showing you all of the products that are in and on my vanity and in all of my drawers and on top of the drawers. As you could see, there is a lot there. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely leave any comments down below. Push the like button if you enjoyed seeing my makeup collection. Let me know if you're interested in kind of like the decluttering video that I would like to do in the future. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue watching more of my videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye!